Hey guys, this is you say D Wheeler here, and well, okay, this is my second recording take though because while I was recording this box opening though, my dad called me for whatever reason though. It got kind of annoying. It cut off my first recording though, and kind of messed everything up. So, all right, so let me just get straight to it though. This is gonna be the unboxing of the the new Genesis Trial deck for the for the sacred uh, successor of the Sacred Regalia. And, long story short, I'm going to make a Regalia deck, though, but I only bought one deck right now, so... Because next week is Anime Expo, which I hope to see some of you there. And, well, the main point is, though, I want to spend more of my money on AX, though, rather than just trying to get more cards and stuff, at least, for the time being. Alrighty, well, here's a second run-through of the deck, though. Well, I did show off well, on the back of the playmat that you get in the trial deck, though, but I'm not going to do that right now, so... Alright. First thing you get is uh, is the main card, Regalia of Wisdom Angelica, which is the break ride. You, she's really good. I like her a lot. I like her picture and whatnot. Oh, sorry. I think my nose is a bit stuffy, though, but yeah. And it needs to focus. <laughs> Alright, basically, uh, you, her, her uh, break ride ability is where you soul blast three and then you draw two cards. So she's a really good card. I like her a lot. And that's why I want to get three more of her, because, yeah, once the, the Regalia deck comes out, though, or set 14, I can try to get all the Minervas I need and stuff, too, so... Yeah, that's always good. Alright, next thing on the list, you get the two Battle Maiden Mizuha. I like... I mean, she's a 10k, though, but I actually kind of like her picture, though. She's looks really well done, so... Her ability is, like, a... Sorry if I'm, like, breathing a lot, though. I've been trying, been blowing my nose a bit, though, so, yeah. But, yeah, I'm not sick or anything, though, but... It's just one of those, like... One of those times where your nose just gets stuffy for no reason, though. Well, it's not really... Not too stuffy, though, but just... It kind of, like, feels stuffy in a bit, though. Okay, I'm rambling on, but... This ability is an interesting ability. It's just, like, when she attacks, you uh, just Soul Blast 3 for her to gain 5,000 and plus 1 critical. And then she gets a 3,000 when she attacks a Vanguard, so, yeah. Okay, though, but, like, I wouldn't use it, though. But I just like the picture. I like looking at it. And then you get the uh, 4 Witch of Old Saffron, the standard limit breaker. It gains 5,000, but then as a rearguard, when she attacks Vanguard, she gains 2,000. She was, like, a... She was a single R in uh, set 10, but now she's reprinted in the trial deck. <laughs> oh, my God. Next, you get the uh, four Battle Maiden Izunahime, standard 10k vanilla. Alright. Next up, you get two Battle Maiden Sahohime, right here. And she was a, uh, she was a rare in uh, set 10, but now she's been reprinted. And you get two of her. I'll probably use four of her, because I like her ability that much. Next up, I get uh, one Goddess of Trees Jupiter. She's the 12k attacker for uh, Regalia units, so I'm probably gonna run like three of her though. But uh, even though I'm gonna get four, four of the decks, and I like kind of like how the English Child deck made her like a foil card. I don't know if they did that in the Japanese one. If if so, then cool. But you're gonna get her again in set 14, and she's also a rare as well. Okay, next card you get Battle Maiden Shitateru Hime. She's basically the special interceptor, though. Well, of course, trial decks nowadays always add in special interceptors, though, because, you know, they're trial decks, so yeah. Alright, now we got the grade 1s. We got four of the AK Vanilla Battle Maiden Mihikari Hime. Just AK Vanilla. Kind of like the picture of that. And then you get two uh, Battle Maiden Tatsuda Hime. She's okay, though, but I think her cost is a little high, though. Counter Blast 2, though, but... Well, maybe it's not too high, though, but, like... I don't know. Because if if you want to keep be able to keep Soul Charging, though, though, I think... Uh, paying 2 is a little high. Uh, at least when you compare it to Sahohime, which only needs one Counter Blast, though. So that's right. And then you get one Existence Angel. She used to be a... A promo card, though. Like a promo card for like she was a uh, promo card for the sneak peek event for set ten, 
But now they reprinted her and they made her foil in the trial deck, which I thought, yeah, it looks nicer like now. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And you get four uh, Witch of Cats uh, Cumin. She's basically one of those cards that you call out once you put her in the Vanguard Rear Guard Circle, you just Soul Charge one. And you got her in set 10. And the last of the grade ones is uh, Apple Witch Cider, which I like this card a lot. And this is a this is a card you can only get in the trial deck, and they give you four. Basically, it's like when you place her in the Guardian Circle, though, you choose your Regalia Vanguard. And until the end of the battle, it's just uh, whenever all, all your Guardians go to the drop zone, though, you just put them to your soul. So basically, it's a good combination with like the Quintet Walls coming in set to 14. And you can do like just like how uh, what Misaki did in the anime when she fought against Mio and she was reversed. She used a Quintet Wall and then she guarded with Cider from the hand. And then all those cards from the quintet wall just went into her soul, so that was pretty cool. I actually like that you get four of her, though. Though I'll probably only use three, because there's some other cards in set 14 that I'll probably be using in instead. And then you get the vanilla starter, because, you know, this is a trial deck and all, so you get a vanilla star reflector angel, but I like the picture. Alright, now for the trigger lineup. You get four of the new critical triggers, Lemon Witch, Lemon Sino. I really like the picture of that one. You got four Bandit Danny, which you get in set 10, so that's just been reprinted. And you get four Stand Triggers, Patrol Guardian. Standard uh, trigger lineup for trial decks, though, because they want to give you four of each uh, trigger units. And then lastly, Large uh, Witch of Big Pots Laurier. Alrighty, so that's pretty much the the trial deck, though. Like I said, I want to get three more of these later, like maybe sometime after AX, though. And I'll put a link to my announcement video that I did with my friend Rosa, though. So I'll put it in, like, annotations here, or in the description, wherever. And whatnot, so yeah. So that's about it for this video, though, and I will see you guys later. Again, hope to see some of you AX, and hope you guys have a good day. Take care!